hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is vivian Osini. on this channel i talk about nursing lifestyle motherhood beauty and all that good stuff so if today is the first time of coming across this channel do well to subscribe today is a day in the life of a nurse so come to work with me all right so having started my day off i'm going to take my pen marker touch pen my ID card, name band, and I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair out. As you all know, recently I've taken down my hair, so wigs for the wind. I'm just gonna smooth my hair out and prepare my bag for the day. After putting my hair into three plates and rolling it up in a bond just behind my back. Kids ask a lot of time what kind of shoes to wear to work. Well, this is a trainer I wear to work every day, and whenever I wear my gown, I wear a proper shoe. So here it is for you all. I hope it answers your question. I would cause I just love this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. Everybody, so it's a very good day today. Um it's not very cold. I think there's a little light sauce already this morning is so good. I can see myself on the camera. You can see on my way to work, I find fellow colleagues on the same road path. The hustle is real. Okay, so I love to walk to work because it helps me to get used to the weather every day. It also keeps me fit and it's just my only two way of being fit and healthy. This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving. It's that time of the day. Everybody is getting to work 20 or 30 minutes before time. And we all get in the lift and just heading out on our different floors on getting to work. I walk into the fridge, keeping my lunch and breakfast for the day. Go into the clock room, hang my coat and get ready for the day. And a little selfie is not going to do me any harm. In the ward, I go ahead to take my hand over sheets and my vital pack, which is an innovative tool recording observations and helping you to develop national early one score to help you identify patients who become poorly as quickly as possible so in the morning we share a smile we share a word we share a laughter everybody is happy and we go ahead to look onto our vital packs to see patients who are becoming poorly or those who are already poorly on the ward and go ahead to see that they have been seen by the outreach or the doctor the outreach are a group of nurses who are either specialist nurses who work in the ICU or the ITU or nurses who are nurse practitioners. They go around the hospital, even in resuscitation, seeing patients who are poorly and preferring advices to doctors on what to do to bring these patients back to good health. In the office, as usual, we sit out and just take handover and do high risk of patients letting the in charge know patients who are very poorly in the world so they can be handed over to the doctors during their own ward rounds so that adequate care can be provided to the patients okay and even if you've told the in charge about poorly patients in the world you have to also ensure that you've done your beat as a nurse for instance commencing oxygen for a very poorly patient or giving prescribed antipyrexic drugs and in short calling the doctor and chasing them up to ensure they come and see any patient who is poorly 
or even calling the outrage. For the early warning score, patients can score up to a 10 or a 12. However, a patient who calls less than 3 is okay, but anything above 4 or 3 in one parameter, then you have to begin to think, is the patient becoming septic? What is the problem? Begin to do your sepsis screen for the patient, sending their blood, giving them oxygen, sending their urine samples, bottom samples, wound swabs, etc. You just do a whole lot for your patient. So during high risk, we identify patients who are very poorly on the ward and what has been done and how well they are and identify those who are appropriate to be transferred even to the ICU. And when our high risk is finished, in the office we head out into the world for our drug rounds and during our drug rounds we start our money drug rounds with the rights of drug administration right patient right drug right route right time right doses and ensuring that the prescription is proper if you have time medications like anti parkinson's medications or control drugs you get a two nurse or a second nurse and get that drug given to the patient as soon as possible and once our medication rounds is finished in the morning we do other little jobs taking our catheter checking stomach bags because it's a fast-paced surgical ward there's a lot to do and then it's time for breakfast so we head out for our first break of the day I'm having cornflakes and yogurt just because I'm lactose intolerant. That's the only way I'm able to tolerate milk without having to have diarrhea throughout the day. So I go out with colleagues who are due for break with me and we go ahead and have fun. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feel it. I'm for one there. I got two. I'm alright because I can sleep during the day. Like I say, it makes such a difference if you can sleep during the day. Mm. I sort of semi. I bet you sleep well, don't you? Then I start stirring at one o'clock. I'm tired, but it's like. You can't sleep because you're about to. Right, first half of the break is over, and then back to the ward going on with the job of the day. Go ahead to check. Log into the system, check up medications, check up blood result, test result, send samples that need to be sent, check what the doctors have updated during the ward rounds and begin to implement whatever it is that needs to be done for the patient, like taking out a catheter, taking out drains, changing stomach bags. I see a lot of things that I have to do and I begin to get on needs, updating family members of the care of their relatives is a lot that we have to do being on the phone answering calls and at the same time multitasking to ensure your job gets done and once i've done little bits of my job for the afternoon it's time for the lunch drug round i go ahead and give my medications to my patients and in the afternoons it's time for iv administration iv administration usually done during lunch time, usually countersigned by a fellow nurse just to ensure safety of what you're giving to your patient. I go ahead to prepare my drugs using the hospital policy and the appropriate universal precautions and going ahead to administer my medications in a safe and a timely manner. Fast paced medical ward, it could be a lot given IV administration. Because all your patients could literally be on IV medications. However, we are up to the task and that's why we're made for the job. For IV medications, we have a standard operating procedure where you have 
guidelines for reconstitution of medication so each IV medication is reconstituted differently and you have to follow this to the latter to ensure safe administration of medications and once it's done drug rounds are done lunchtime medication are given ensuring patients are very comfortable attending to their needs and every other needs that may come up during the day disclaimer most of the clips were shot at the end of the shift as a way to help the incoming shift in the IV drug administration anyway so to do IV drug administration labeling any medication which has been added into any IV bags and hanging them for the appropriate amount of time and once this has been done and every medication has been given in the ward usually an update is done where we update ourselves of every new happening in the ward and then it's time to go for lunch. We are very hungry at this point. Loving this moment, can we stay here forever? Forever. So we head out for break and I take the stairs sometimes just because it's healthy and I get to burn a little calorie. It's not gonna hurt me. As you can see here, I burn 4.07 calories per flow which i take which is very good for me i take note of every sign postings that have been put up in the hospital there is one i love in particular the standard you walk past is the standard you accept so whatever it is that you do not like bring it up so it can be corrected appropriately time don't you know that i would cause i just loving this moment can we stay here forever So break is over we head back into the ward and it's time for supper medications medications are served to patients as per prescription patients are made comfortable their needs are attended family members are updated on the care of the relatives we update handover according to what has changed or what has remained the same for the day we ensure every CT scan ultrasound x-rays have been reviewed every blood test has been reviewed every new changes in the management plan of the patient is updated just so to keep the incoming staff updated on what is going to be happening and how to take care of the patient going forward so at this point of the day we're almost actually done and we just go ahead to let it all flow we put dot our i's and cross our t's and it will be time to head home. It's 7.30, handover has been done, and I am naked. On my way home. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile do you know how it's much been a long day and for some reason i feel very tired and weak to my bones you know that kind of weakness and that feeling like you're gonna feel you're gonna fall ill that's the way i feel right now i don't want to be sick i need to be healthy so I'm going to go home, take some paracetamol and be ready for tomorrow because I'm coming back to work tomorrow. That's the life. You push, but don't push yourself too hard. Or well, then it's okay to push, isn't it? But just know your limit. And at this time, I think I'm almost at mine. Be the best you can be. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.